hili mwakilishi wadi wa eneo hili kanisa wadhamini my name is Peter Gasha manager to welcome all other guests all protocol we welcome any of your program here in Mukorwene. Peter Gacha from Yabogo TVC, he has already spoken, in empowering other youth in this country. And we are all. We have taken a different approach. Asante uh, sana. Thank you very much. I'm also in inviting the county government so that we can have a meeting here and uh, try to iron out on the issues of costing uh, so that uh, we ensure that we are facilitating you to a level that you are able to deliver quality education and quality training to these young people that we have here today. If you can commit those resources that we are committing, the 100 million you are committing, if you can commit to these young people, me I'm going to pull off from this because we have started it off, now we go to the high school. And the reason why we want to start these TVET uh, activities and especially the training of the young people, one thing that we know is that the future belongs to the young people and they start now so that they start to lead their lives with a dream and a vision. And what the TVET or the vocational training is doing is being able to orientate the youth and to bring them to a place where they can be able to become economically empowered and they become people who can be self-employed. And therefore, the courses that they are going to be uh, learning from this uh, are courses that are going to make them employable. For the longest now we have been talking about white collar jobs, we've been talking about office and everyone who goes to school goes to school with the name of ever getting that white or collar job. But we know as we know now that we need to change the way we do things. We need to, ch to look at a way of growing our economy and making sure the youth are not unemployed and getting frustrated and getting to a place where they, they become depressed and uh, they start taking be, uh, be, uh, a, a illegal uh, alcohol and all that. You have seen, I've been trying to rehabilitate some of the boys and girls who are out there frustrated without a job. And therefore, this uh, TVET uh, or uh, uh, polytechnics and vocational training for our youth Youth is the future which will be able to uh, expand their job market that is why we we are here today and I'm very sure what we are starting together partnership of national government the county government and partners like KCB foundation you have seen they are the ones who are here and uh, therefore we are looking uh, at that my office is very excited about this why because when these young people become busy and they are economically empowered they will be busy working they will not be busy abusing drugs or getting Getting into uh, things that uh, we are trying to get them off and therefore we are in support of what they are doing. Actually, myself, I've been uh, going around and uh, I've started the village uh, health villages where we are going to start having, you have the clinic there for rehabilitating those who are already in drugs. As I have already said that those who are in alcohol and in drugs, they are sick people and we need to start rehabilitating them, bringing them back and integrating them to the society. And the only way to do it is to take them, treat them, take them to for vocational training, 
empowering them and then connecting them to jobs. Your Excellency, my last question. Uh, of course, in about two weeks, we, we are having the inform calls and we are about to hear exams. And these are the people that are coming out to come and find a society that maybe is not so up in terms of the drug benefits. So what is your office doing to ensure that these ones uh, are protected from engaging into these uh, menace? And uh, probably uh, you've enlisted the help of women in uh, trying to rehabilitate these ones that are not yet into that menace. Maybe you could speak to that as well. I think the country has a responsibility, and not only the women and the parents, but everybody, wherever they are. We, we are supposed to engage and make sure that the young people who are coming from Form 4, we are going to start uh, some programs that will be able to engage them as well as making sure that those who will not uh, maybe go to the university, they will be accommodated in the vocational training. There are also other areas like a national youth service where they are going. And, uh, uh, and of course, uh, we are looking into making sure that uh, they, we, we are going to use them because these are people who are already have, are fresh from school. They have not uh, engaged maybe in drug, alcohol. My, my office is going to start using them in a place of tree nurseries which we can do and start greening the environment for climate action. And I'm very sure many of the women and the schools and all those people we are talking to and engaging, we are telling them there is work to do for these young people. So we are trying to look for areas where there is land that is available and we can start those tree nurseries so that as they are cleaning the rivers and greening the environment, we can engage these young people as the uh, green army that we will be able to make sure that uh, the climate change action is uh, implemented through them.